first article this week. Yes. This was a tweet by R dash or what's one of those slash things? Two X chromosomes. Yeah, I don't know. It says, <laughs> it says. What's a name? <laughs> just found out my husband of five years has been having affairs since our honeymoon. Let that sink in. Okay. No clue or idea what to do with my life or myself. That's the intro. It then says, my husband told me two nights ago that he wanted a divorce out of the blue. I asked him what he was talking about and he said that he only wanted to get married so that he could experience the rush of having affairs. What? Yep. He said that by the end of the honeymoon, which was five days, he'd already had an affair. What? And now he said that he's older, the rush has worn off, and he's ready to (laughs) move on. Too easy. He's ready to move on and find a real relationship. And then she goes, I nearly fainted during this conversation. He said he's sorry that it's that he that she's taking it so hard and that she shouldn't stress because as he puts it, she's still young enough to find another man. Do they have kids? It doesn't say. Oh my gosh. <laughs> he entered he got married purely he's like No, I heard you the first time. He's like, I need a suitor. I need a suitor. <laughs> I don't care who it is. I just need someone that'll like doesn't annoy me all the time. Yeah. Someone that I can like basically just live with. Yeah. Just so I can have an affair. Take care of me. Clean my clothes. Yeah. Like a mum figure. Yeah. And you just wanted to muck around. <gasps> I wonder how many affairs he's had. I'm not sure. Alexander, you found this tweet. Yeah. Tell me some comments, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can how, see some. How earth shattering is that? Like as a person, like I mean, you can talk about this from a romantic standpoint. You can go like that would be terrible if you if you lost someone that you loved and all that kind of stuff. Like yeah, that's one factor of it. But you're talking about someone who's just played a game with someone else's life, essentially. Pretty much, just mm. a pawn. It was Five a, she years was a piece. as well. Yeah, Man, that's a and, long time. And he's just she like stab him. Should stab him. So yeah. I lo- I love CJ's <laughs> approach. He's just right like the balls. predictable. <laughs> oh, actually, this lady, one of the first comments says, "Ladies, we got to start standing up and beginning killing men for no reason." Oh. So she's on your way. for no reason, nice <laughs> for my no gyne- reason as well. <laughs> I was like, I was like, my kind of girl, but then no reason I could be in bed, and she just has the stabbing mood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she she don't need a reason. <laughs> <laughs> You were snoring, so I snapped you off. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm bleeding. <laughs> do you think, like, do you think you'd ever trust anyone again after that? Oh, my God. Another one woman said, <laughs> or another person said, you have nice. to kill him. Like, what other option would there be? You can't just walk away from that. <laughs> Ems, Ems, what, how would you feel? Oh. Because you it's, we want to hear from your perspective. How would you feel? What do you mean? Like, a fe- like a female that hasn't been cheated on. How do you? Like- I feel like this could go either way. <laughs> Get by that the in way. there, Dev. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Like- <laughs> what? <laughs> good work, mate. Good yeah. work. <laughs> for, for anyone that's anyone that's listening on the podcast, I'm winking at the other guys. I'm winking. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness! You know my brother's I'm name. Surpri- yeah? I- I'm surprised you didn't say a female that's got an excellent husband. <laughs> 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 this goes both ways. This could have been a girl that did it to a guy, but like you would completely, I feel like, you know how, right. You know how those shows, love shows, relationship shows. Love Island. Yeah. And, Big Brother. Yeah. And Too Hot to Handle and all this. Right. They always say, I've got trust issues. I can't break my walls down, blah, blah, blah. You would become that person. Anyways, i got an issue with those people because they're, they're very young and I think their relationships would be just like just dating wouldn't it like it wouldn't be like as hardcore as that getting married and then getting cheated on by someone that they've had vows with that's totally different right well i mean yeah she this should is next take level. it for every penny but anyways how does she not know Cut for throat. five years the that the guy's cheating Cars. on us everything how did, i don't get how did he cheat on her on their honeymoon 
Yeah. Like, what was she doing? Okay. Was she with the um, for, scuba diver? He, what was she he doing? Went for, hey, honey, he went for a walk uh, and then a bit of... I got you the spa today. It's a, it's a yeah, I was just going to say. You don't have to worry. You just, just relax. Take the stress off. Are we going to go together? No, no, no. Don't go by yourself. <laughs> I got to understand. I don't know. Man. But I think there are people out there that are serial affairers. Affairers? <laughs> affairers? <laughs> Cheaters, oh, I mean. Is she from, are they from Egypt? <laughs> I didn't hear that like, until you I said it. Like oh, oh, serial affairs. There's definitely people that just love the thrill of an affair. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, come this... what it was like. People admit to it. Like guys say they go into relationships. Say, by the way, I like you know I, I I have cheated and I like to cheat. So if you're not cool with that, you're not for me. Type thing. <laughs> but doesn't that if you say that doesn't that then take away the thrill of having an affair? Yeah. And, and plus, why would you snitch on yourself? <laughs> what kind of idiots walking around going, hey, baby, I love to cheat. Bad luck. <laughs> but to be fair, if you're somebody that can't do anything but cheat, if that's a, a possible stance to have, yeah. if you can't do anything but cheat, isn't it better to tell your potential future partner that that's what you're going to be doing? Go and if they accept it. you for that, then you've got no stress. I yeah. Otherwise, I, you have to find someone that you genuinely love and lie to them your whole life, which is. Mm. I think this was a comedian tough. that said that. I can't remember who it was. Yes, it was. Ke- go, uh, it wasn't Kevin Hart. They go, uh, yeah, it was Kevin Hart. He's uh, like, I told you I cheated when we got together, and you still wanted to be with me. Yeah. And then when I cheated, you're acting, you're acting like, what the hell? Was it Kevin Hart? What the anyway. hell? I don't know. I can't remember. Why don't <laughs> we just like? Why don't we just have like a section of people that's just like. Oh, we do like open relationships, open, open or polygamous. Just like, yes. cool. Like have fun, enjoy it. Mm. Yeah, there are definitely. Then they will, like then they that. won't have to toy with people who want actual monogamy and yeah. marry them for five years and then go. Ah, all right, <laughs> done with this one. You're young enough. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I wanna, I'm going to get a real relationship now. But talking about comedians, um, did everybody watch the Dave Chappelle? Um, what was it? What's that award? Mark Mark, Mark Twain. Twain. Mark Twain. Special. No. no. Uh, that's really I good. I don't think so. That's really, really good. He won the Mark Twain Award. Dev was watching it and I walked in, had a bit of a laugh. Is there anything else you're going to say to it? Like, no, is there I any just segue? wondered if they'd that watched it. That was a weirdest segue. Uh, yeah, it's I'd not wa- yeah. I-, I wondered if you guys, w- guys had watched it, but you haven't. So, We've done a lot of uh, repeating today. So, so going, back, going back to the lady, right? So if the guy goes, uh, I'm a cheater, like imagine that scenario. He goes, he's very up, up up front with the lady he goes look we can get together but i'm a cheater but then the lady goes oh, I'm a leopard. yeah yeah that's cool because i'm a serial cheater as well <gasps> do you reckon that starts reversing and the guy goes no 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 hang on a sec no 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 only i can <laughs> cheat. i can cheat but you got to stay with me only yeah 100 percent. you reckon 100 yeah. million percent I think, I think you got both you got some, you got half of them who would be like nah i'm the only one who cheats and half of them would be like oh perfect <laughs> <laughs> I reckon ninety five percent will be like, I'm the only one that can cheat. Yeah, five percent like, oh, we can mix it up in the bedroom. Because <laughs> I mean, you have like you have swingers and stuff, don't you? Like, it's not. Yeah. A, yeah. It's not I wonder an, how that conversation un- comes up. What I've learned as well coming to London is, I don't know many people here, but every single person I know here knows someone who's in a swinging club. So it's quite what? a common thing. <laughs> What? what are you talking what? about? What, what? Are you in? Whoa. Oh. Well, look, can we take five steps? Yeah. Why do you know so many people that know people in the swingers club? How do you always <laughs> talk about that to know that? This is this is what I mean. I'm not saying like you're saying it as if I know a lot of people who know a lot of people. So I'm suggesting there are just a lot of people in the swingers club, and the chances I think, are people know a yeah, lot of people. I people think know, you're right. People know someone. I think you're right that I probably know a lot of people that know someone in the swingers club, but I don't know who those people are. The the, the bit of the puzzle I want to know is why do you know all these people? <laughs> Have you been inquiring? Like, how do you know so many I don't people know. that know someone? And it's, why Maxie's is it always come up in your conversation? Okay, up first in of all, conversation. First of all, he went take, to the swingers meeting. Right? They had the annual meeting. <laughs> I did start right? with, I he, don't he know went that there. many people in London. Right? So yeah. it's not like, a lot of people. Hi, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your new member. Alex, Alexander brought his bat. He's going, all right, well, where's the cages? Where are we going to start swinging? Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? He brought his bat? <laughs> That was a stretch. Right. That was a stretch. No, it's, 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 one those, it's one of those things. Ladies, like, I got a sore back, right? <laughs> you're in a group of people. You're in a group of people. You're having a pint and someone goes, 
<laughs> you're talking about parties. Someone goes, yeah, I was at this swingers party by accident. My friend invited me. And then everyone talks about their experience of knowing someone who knows who's a swinger. Uh, or something like that. Uh, it's, okay. it's really, it's just yeah. one conversation. I don't know. <laughs> I know. It's just, everyone I know just was in that one conversation. <laughs> but I directly know some swingers. So that means Gee. you now know me who knows... There we go. A swinger as well. So add me to your long list of swingers. Your swinger contacts. Put it into your customer relations <laughs> management system. Ooh, and then when you get down in the future, you... Uh, Six degrees of I know um, um, polygamy swinger. people. Polygamy. I know polygamists. Yeah. Polygamists. Which, one, mm. which one's a polygamist? I'm going to be honest more. and say I don't know what that means. More than Multiple. one... Yeah. More than one part. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like a double Monogamy relationship. Monogamy is one partner. Polygamy's but this is parts. like two couples One that, warning. that are all together. Huh. Mm. This is what, sorry, so like you, two we, couples, four people in one relationship. Yeah, yeah. So I know oh. four, I know someone, oh, um, you know Prison Break? You know Prison Break? Just... The guy from Prison yeah. Break? Oh, no, uh, it goes, um, <laughs> it goes just the guys are straight, but everything else, okay. yeah, yeah. So what, the, the girls are women, not straight? Women are bi no. or women are straight? They're bi. The, the guy from Prison Break. What an interesting sex. You know, like uh, is it the brother? <laughs> yeah, he's... No, him. He, yeah, so I... I Wentworth Miller. There was a... His, yeah. So he had um he had a kid, right, with his partner. And then, like, they got divorced. And then the partner started going with someone... With another guy. But is the, this in real life? In real life. And the guy came to Australia and he came to our gym. And he started doing jiu-jitsu, right? Anyways... <laughs> He's How from, am I just finding he's got out a, about this now? He's got a, he's, I, I, it just popped up because we don't really talk about polygamous relationships that often. But we talk about prison break. <laughs> and, that's what the guy, and that's what the guy said when Ernest was ta- um, wrestling with him. It just popped up. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and then he said, he said, do you want to come back to LA with me? And I was like, no, no, no. I've got a wife and kid here. Anyway, what? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. And then... Um, <laughs> <laughs> was that before it popped up or after it popped up? <laughs> the second time it popped up. Anyways. Yeah. Um, the second time. So he, uh, he lives... Uh, they live all... The three of them live together. because the, who, who, who? The guy from Prison Break wants to raise his kid as well. Right? So they all live in the same house. So I don't know. It's not a polygamous relationship, but like... It's like the ex-husband lives with them. Which guy from P- Prison Break? I don't know if it's um because no, the main it has character. to be. Yeah, it has to be the main character. It can't be the Miller. gay. It can't be the gay guy because when with Miller's the gay guy. No, he's gay. Yeah. No, so he's not gonna have a kid with a woman, is he? He could. He might. You never know. What he? Maybe. All right. You're right. Maybe something <laughs> popped up. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. You, you convinced me. <laughs> <laughs> you gave up pretty Speaking quickly of, on that one. Did, did, you, did you hear um, Emma about Philip Schofield and Maxie? You know Philip Schofield. Yeah, I did actually. I did. He's, he's gay, by the way. I don't want to ruin the ruin the yeah. ending for anyone. And his wife is like, like um, <laughs> Dominic Purcell. First, who's Philip Schofield? Oh, um, his brother. Yeah, that's What's the one. Lincoln Lincoln, Lincoln. Lincoln Burrows. Was um, it Lincoln, yeah, Dev? Philip. This one. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Philip Lincoln. Schofield. Oh, uh, but is it something to do with like the person he's in a relationship with? Like, was 15 or something when they started talking? What? Who? What? Schofield. That. That's. I not right. didn't know that. Who was? So 15? I've only, I've only, I've only read, I've only read is the headlines, he? and then like, so when so, when there's a headline on Twitter, Twitter does this really weird thing on trending, where if you click on like a headline, it doesn't tell you what the article is. It just tells you everyone's responses to the articles, mm. which means you never know what's happening. But when I went on the Philip Schofield, I was like, why is he trending? Clicked on it. And like everyone was talking about like this 15 year old boy or something. So it's something about like, it's not that the boy's 15 now, but when he started talking to the boy, something like he interviewed him on TV and then started texting. So I don't know, something like that. Hmm. Oh, so you're saying that he was grooming? He's not, you're not yeah. saying that he was grooming. It's grooming. Yeah. He's, well, he's come out, he's come out as gay. He's long time. Like he's an old, I don't know, Philip Schofield, to give you yeah, ideas, like yeah. an old, an old man, white hair, all that. Like, um, yeah, yeah, and yeah, he's separating from his wife now because of it. How many people yeah, do? You, how many guys do you think are gay, and uh, just oh, waiting? plenty? Because I'll okay. tell you, Whoa, wow! I will tell you, one of my best, bestest, closest friends told me that a lot of people that hit him up on what? the apps is that on your the reference? Gay apps. <laughs> I'm not men- mentioning any names. A lot of people that hit him up on the gay apps are 
married <laughs> straight men. Yeah. Well, they're not straight. Married men. Of course, yeah. Yeah. I didn't pop up, did I? But he didn't mention you. Oh, cool. <laughs> Got away with it. Yeah. But I was like flabbergasted. I was like, what? he said literally the majority of contacts or a very large proportion are married men. Just a rush. They want the rush. Mm. Oh, I just, I just want something to pop up. <laughs> I wonder if a uh, old man in the story cheated on his wife. I wonder if any of the guys or any of the people he cheated with were guys. Possibly. Oh, Probably. what's the dating? Um, that dating uh, bloody show where they don't see each other for a while and then like they talk- love is blind. Love, love is bl- love. Love is blind. Remember that guy? Yeah. Like, and then he said that I go both ways. Yeah. And then all of a sudden she just broke they it up. Had like, a massive fight. Massive fight. And they like, broke up. Yeah. Yeah, he kind of told her after they were engaged. <laughs> no, but I, I actually felt for him. I actually really felt for that I guy. did not in any way, shape, or form. Why? This but is I, interesting. But how can he go both ways? But wait, okay, you, let's have you, this conversation. Wait, Siege. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Siege, uh, so walk, me like through, a, walk, um, me, walk me through this, what you don't understand. <laughs> 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 no, it's a podcast. We've got to see what you're doing. <laughs> oh, Tell yeah. us what you're doing. <laughs> so, he likes to pitch and catch? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, CJ. Pitch and catch. Uh, he, as in he's bisexual. Yeah. yeah, he likes to... um. Throw out the pitch and also catch it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's interesting. If you were, if you were like, if you didn't know your partner went both ways, but you caught him in the act of like doing lesbian acts, would you get upset? What? Like, so like I, you're, I, I'd put, you, you, I would put him back. He's basically saying what? if your if your partner, if you had partner, with you have the a same partner, sex. and you didn't know she was bisexual, and then like. Mm-hmm. And then you were going out for like six months and then you caught them having sex with another girl. Would you get upset at that? Because it's a girl and not a guy. I don't understand the question if I'm honest. <laughs> I get, no, I get Basically, it, like, would, you, would, you, would you get mad at your partner if, it was, if they cheated with the same sex r- yeah. rather than the other sex? Yeah. Yes, oh, I would. Mm. Only if I couldn't join in. <laughs> so I feel like if you didn't I'm I'm trying to like think in my head what the circumstances if you didn't get mad at that like I don't know so I feel yes, like they would they, yeah yeah I feel like you have to you'd naturally just get upset at that because mm. you didn't get invited or yeah if I'm yeah. invited I'm cool <laughs> <laughs> do you reckon it would stink do you reckon it would lessen the blow though if you if you found out that your partner cheated on you because they they quote unquote realized that the yeah I the think it would soften the blow would it or is <laughs> I that think it would you were that bad of a partner they've turned uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> so now you get to disappoint two women sexually <laughs> <laughs> but, but all, right, all right I'm done <laughs> but I'm surprised that you actually would now get, you two finish it off <laughs> you didn't feel sorry for that guy when he said it after they got engaged. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You don't like in my mind. You can't. How can you get engaged with someone? Like the the idea of an engagement is a promise to spend the rest of your life with that person. Like you're promising that you're going to spend like yeah. That's what you yeah. Want. In order to do that, you've got to know the person. What orientation you are is a pretty significant part of who you are as a person. Mm. Like an mm. extremely significant part of who you are as a person, especially yeah, in how but- you operate in a daily life. But if they've already committed themselves to you, then that's commitment enough, no? Like that, just no, because... That's like your, so your suggestion is commitment is a binding thing regardless of information you find out afterwards? No, but like what, yeah, so I don't think... So if you found out Dev was a serial killer, you'll be like, oh, but I've committed to him now. No, as in just sexual <laughs> orientation. Like if they... So if you found out like Dev was gay, guy, you feel any type of way about it? I think because it would be different. Let's okay. I'm talking Ooh. purely. How long I'm it took talking, you to think of that answer? No, because well. I'm talking yeah. purely. Don't be politically correct. In the context of that show, because they'd only actually known each other like five days or something. 
right? And then yeah. they do the engagement. So there's like, it's different. If you were together for like a year and then or two and then got engaged, that's different because you had plenty of time to tell them. But that was but like... Do you not think sexual orientation is a pretty significant thing to tell someone about you? Not if they're on there. I don't think you had to say it in the first... How, yeah. You said they got engaged after five days. This yeah. whole situation is just r- weird. <laughs> yeah. It's a show yeah, where they is. don't see each other. They're living yeah. in this place and they go on dates where they can't see each other but they could talk. So yeah, they, they get to know talk. each other and then they have to propose, and then they get engaged. Seeing, <laughs> yeah. they have to propose without ever seeing each other. And then... This all happens, by the way. Oh, from the day now you put it that way, in. it's completely normal. <laughs> no, You're but right. Right. after they get engaged, they then spend a month living together. And then after the month, they, they have to decide do they want to stay together or not. Mm. I they think they go if to I want to show like that, I am in full expectation that the person I'm going to be with is not completely normal in the head. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'll be expecting a lot of surprises along the way. <laughs> Yeah, but you, you're also going to suspect this. If you're on that show, then you're also not normal in the head. <laughs> so we're getting 100%. two people who are not normal 100%. in the head and we're putting them Thus, together. More surprises, more excitement. I, I can see l- the I love appeal. Those shows. <laughs> <laughs> see, I don't, I don't have the, in my head, like I don't have the idea that there's something wrong with people who go on things like that because you, you like, for me to think that, I have to okay. think about how they weigh things. Like, I don't mm. know how they weigh relationships yeah. and love. And, on a scale. Like, it just might not be that important to them. To okay, spend wrong the is the wrong word to use then. But um, Wrong is the wrong word to use? But, go, but going back, <laughs> MRI, yeah, I think, I think it's interesting that that specific <laughs> detail is one you're willing to, to hold out. Like, what do you think they taught? Like, what do you want to know about someone before you get engaged if it's not sexual orientation? That's a good question. No, because I think the guy <laughs> was very nervous to say that because he, he thought that no one would accept him if he told him that up front. But so he wanted to build a relationship based off of So deceiving something. them's the way to go. No, no, but let's sometimes you don't like his orientation does not define him as a person. He is a, a person regardless of who he's yeah, dating in the past. That's, wait, 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 wait. That's like that's up to that person to think that is like if you if she if he said it at the first he goes, I go both ways and she's she heard that and she reacted like, Oh, I'm not into that then the, the relationship mm. would have ended straight away. Which is what he was scared of. Yeah. But, but, but if he, if he, has that, if he had that throughout his whole life, saying... if people reject him constantly throughout his whole life, but he does believe he has more to offer, it makes complete oh, sense to hold that back. I see. Try and and get he has been rejected. See you for who you are first, and then say, oh, by the way, this is who I am. But do you but think the, whole, the point that they got engaged sense. first is obviously a big milestone, which is pretty unusual. But if he says it within the first week, ignoring the engagement thing, that isn't too late to say it, I don't think. Like a mm. week after you've uh, met someone. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. The no, time, but, the you time can't, frame. but you can't take it out of context of they got engaged. Like, that's the... Like, it is the context. But that thing, for me, just throws everything out of is. proportion and perspective. In the same way you mm. say, like, I don't understand mm. someone that can just get engaged with someone within a week. I also don't understand the decision to tell someone your orientation after you got engaged with them. Like, this whole situation to me is yeah, just, yeah. like... <laughs> it is it completely is completely past me. I can't talk about, like, morally or what the right and wrong decision is because from that's the it. offset... From that, like, from the very beginning, I'm like, this is nothing I would normally be a part yeah. of. <laughs> yeah. So then this we talk about true. one principle amongst all this mayhem. Is like, uh, okay, I guess I want- that principle, yeah, I agree with you. Before you get engaged I- with someone, you probably should tell them the sexual orientation. But my other principle is, you can wait a couple of weeks before you tell them, so they conflict. <laughs>